because you guys remember New York before, like, most of the guns were gone, right? It was, like, a very different guns age. Are gone? I mean, a large percentage, allegedly. <laughs> I didn't know that. Really? I just, I've had a lot of rappers say that to me when I talk about gun crime being way, way down in New York. Nah, I don't know about all that. I mean, statistically, gun nah, crime is way down in New York. You know what? I think that it might be. I think the struggle might be a little less of a struggle now. I think there's more ways to get money now, so I don't think it's like... We gotta go to the extent where we gotta run up, run up on these niggas on the block selling. Ain't, ain't nobody selling crack no more on the street. That mm. shit is over. So that right there, you're gonna way yeah, less street exactly. gun it violence ain't, nah, on the street. Nah, it ain't like that. Niggas is it's, it's a different hustle now. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is doing different, doing it a different way. But um, nah, it's still you know it's it still goes down. Yeah, it still goes down and the shit. It's crazy, you know. Definitely. You know, it, you could be anywhere. It goes down. When you, I, you you could be in Hollywood Hills and it goes down. Yeah. It goes down. Hey, were you, you guys? Know what I'm uh, it's just crazy. Did you bro. guys get familiar with Pop Smoke? Who basically loved got, his music. Right. Never met him, but you know, my little brother. I was telling you, he put me on his music, and I was like, yo, this shit is crazy. Yeah. We we went to this little um, weed party in, in um, Manhattan, and the DJ played that shit. He was like, yo, this that Pop Smoke shit I was saying, but I was like, just rolling my weed. I'm like, this shit crazy, like. The tone of it, you know what I'm saying? Right. Because yeah, yeah, I was watching the shit yeah, on YouTube, exactly. and then the piece of the young brother. over the summer I went to Rolling Loud, wow. and it's everywhere. Every fucking car, every bodega, every fucking Uber, you would hear that fucking song bumping. I keep my ear to Crazy. the streets, man, you know what I'm saying, with this hip-hop, even though I don't really get with it, you know what I'm saying? I keep my ear to the street because, like I said, my younger brother, he's, he's all about it, you know what I'm saying? So... Um, bamboo star, bamboo gutter, you know, he, he, that's what he do, so he puts me on everything. That's going on. You know mm. what I'm saying? My brother Hussein too. We all keep our ear to the streets with this hip hop shit. But I keep my ear the to more got like the, the, ear the 90s us. shit though. That's what I fucks with. Because there's a lot of new young 90s shit coming out. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Word. Definitely. So wait, what were you guys listening to in particular? Like new 90s style shit that's been coming out? Um, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of couple of couple of kids. I, I, I'm not going to mention their name. Because we ain't nobody publicists. Yeah, no no clout. You know no free clout. You got a sign, you want the clout. Nah, nah. We ain't going to do that. But. There's, there's a few, you know, kids out there that's, that's keeping the culture rocking right now. Hundred mm. percent. Um, can we talk about this Kodak? Beef? No. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Yo, talk about I don't feel like this Ain't has no been beef. properly explained. First of all, there, there's no beef. The, the little man is locked up, and uh, right. I send my blessings to him. Mm. You know what I mean? But I, I wouldn't wish that on nobody. A, a lot of us were shocked that Onyx would have anything to do with Kodak, and then he comes out with this crazy ass story. Do you want me to read what he said? I know what he said. <laughs> he said, so I grabbed his bag, right? I threw it. Then I went in that bitch. He had a gun in there, dog. When I tried to shoot the blank, his gun was fake. I said, man, what the fuck? So he went running. At the same time, why are you running for if you know your gun fake? This N-word an actor, man. What the? F like, what, what is this story? <laughs> I don't understand. All right, next scene. <laughs> No, so nothing. This is, this is all stuff that has to be kept off the record. Listen, we're talking uh, off the record. Listen, I, I make records, right? Now <laughs> everything let's, let's, is let's, on the record. No, peep, peep game. That's you know not, not to disrespect nobody, because mm. you know I'm an OG in this shit, and I'm here to bring the light. You know what I mean? Because I'm darkness. All right, boom. L let's think about the person we're talking about. Is this the same person? that try to bring mad shit to a Canadian border, the mm -hmm. same person that said disrespectful shit about Nipsey Hutz. Like, that's the thing about the character a person we're talking about. No, he's a character, about yeah. the just leave it right there. And all this, like... You can just leave it right there. You know what I'm saying? That's that. So you never own a fake Yo, gun? Yo, hope the brother get out of jail. You know what I'm saying? Continue on what he got to do to uh, provide for his family and keep on moving, man. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Shout to the Zoles. You know what I'm saying? I got mad Haitian brothers. You know what I'm saying? Sa yeah, word up. So we're going to leave it like that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Gangsta shit. Shit. All right. Well, one day we'll figure it out, I OG guess. OG shit, my nigga. It's already figured out. The fuck you mean? <laughs> it's already See, figured but, out. But, but, but you supposed to ask those questions and you, and right. you, and you will get the right answer. Mm. See? And you got it. No, that's the fun so part that's about what, doing that's an interview. So that's when you move yeah. to the next... <laughs> situation. You no, know but there's saying? been a lot of times over the years where you guys have had like very confrontational experiences with media hosts and it makes for like amazing um, viral content. Yeah, it does. You definitely it, told Charlemagne to fuck off. Yeah, I mean, you know, Charlemagne, which, which is cool, we shook after the whole incident. And big up to the you breakfast know what I'm saying? club. So, like, people don't know that. Like, after the whole shit went down, we took pictures and we shook. So, if, if we were to shake hands after uh, something that happened... The incident is there. Mm. You can see it. You can watch it. You can have fun. Ha, ha, ha. But as real human beings, this shit got settled right there. 
it would like you wouldn't shake nobody's hand, take a picture with them, and still have beef with them, mm. or I have a problem, not even a beef, even I have a touch of a problem with them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But you can have a problem with somebody at that moment, and that's that. Right. So you know, and that's what you' supposed to do. I have a podcast now called mm. Rappers and Ballers. Rappers so and Ballers. So we about to pop that shit off, and believe me. What we talking about, you know, a lot of, you know, rappers and ballers about, you know, ballers and rappers and just, you know, industry talk, but mostly about sports and music. But you haven't started yet? You have. We have started. We're about to start. We're going to highlight you about this. Oh, let's do it, yeah. <laughs> but that's the question, though, is like, if you have somebody on your show, if you were interviewing Sticky, right. would you be hitting I, him with the hardest question if, the, if it wasn't you your to. best friend you have or whatever? To, but you get the answers and you, and you, and you, and you, but when you try to like... Mm. Do too not much. Not that's the that's when that you know to you. shit gets kind of funky. You know I mean, what I'm saying? You, you got to respect somebody's uh, desire to be quiet about things that haven't been 100 percent made public. You know? No, because I, I feel like if there is something that needs to be discussed, it should be two people in the discussion at the same time. But that's when it gets weird. Is when there's sort of like a hanging thread left by somebody like in this situation who puts out his version of a story that apparently maybe was a real story. But we ne but the other person Listen, in the story doesn't the want to come out that, and say this is exactly time, what only happened. The only time that there's a real story is when somebody is filming it. Mm. Then you know what is real. Other than that, nigga could just be saying any fucking thing. Right. You understand? Did you get your clickbait right there? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> happy, right? Everybody's fucking happy now. No, that was good. All right. There um, we go. Okay, so in terms of, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to do at that point. <laughs> um, I'm saying, bro, you're talking to the guy, man. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I, I, I've been doing this shit since, I've been doing this shit, man. I still feel blessed to be here to talk to you now. This is an honor oh, to sit here and still be alive to talk to my nigga, no jumper. Mm. We this Onyx is in a building, my nigga, and we still rocking. Like it's still love. We still get the love from what we did twenty years, or thirty years ago. Still doing. It, mm. it still makes people blood boil you. At the shows, they still slamming, still jumping off that. Yo, niggas is wilding. Right. Were the mosh pits a part of the <laughs> early <laughs> shows, or, or did that Absolutely. come around over time? Was there like mosh pit in the early days of Onyx? Because nowadays it never stopped. A lot of it, people want to act like that's time, a new thing. At nigga, rap it was shows. mosh pits in. The hood. Nigga, listen, as far as mosh pit and stage diving and hip hop, we invented that. Mm. Facts. Who else? I don't know. I'm telling we're, you. We're working on a slam documentary, you know what I'm saying, about the slam culture and hip hop. Slam and we, boys. All the forefathers of the slam culture and hip hop because we came with the record called Slam. Right. Dub, dub, dub. So that duh. cements that. <laughs> that cements that, right? Right. Okay. 100%. Is that song, I mean, that song is. A huge part of your life. Do you still love performing it, or is it? I love performing it because this... people love me to perform it. Mm. Hundred percent. This guy's smart. You. You just realizing that, or? No, I'm telling you. I'm telling no. the world. No, I, I just, I just yeah, yeah. smoked some of that that Nick Diaz. He got a, the pre rolls. <laughs> Nick Diaz weed. Oh, that shit is crazy. You smoke man. it and you just want to beat the shit out of someone? Here, yeah, just... <laughs> no, when you smoke that nobody, when, I, I when when you wanna... smoke that but Mike Nick Tyson Diaz. weed, you want to beat the shit out of somebody. Yo, he, mm. Mike Tyson got some good weed too, though. Oh, really? We we did his we did the podcast. Yo, I left with the gift bag. I got I ain't know I ain't even know no weed was in that shit. Oh, he got, I got the good. Home, I, let that, I oh. say, yo, knockout. That shit was like weed. That shit was like weed gold. Really? It was like gold. Yeah, all kinds of weird designer waxes and shit like no, that. No, or? it was just some good flour, like wow. Tyson Hattie. Like I mean, I don't know what they got now, but it was a good it was a good podcast and some good weed. Damn. <laughs> you ever think we're getting in the weed game these days? No, nah, I mean Yeah, we're gonna put out a we're gonna put out a strand. It's called Onyx. We got that sticky dro. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I I, I don't know. You know what I'm know. saying? Never get high on your own supply. I smoke too much, nigga. <laughs> yeah, but these days I you don't get, smoke enough. But I don't think that logic really applies. Mm -hmm. If it's a legal business, like right. nobody's gonna tell you like if you own a hamburger shop, don't eat the hamburgers. No, nah, right? I mean, to the hamburger. We, we've we've we've, <laughs> we've had meetings, we we we've we've, we've 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 talked about it with the weed game, you know what I'm saying? But right now I think it's kinda like over I think it's saturated. oversaturated, man. You know what mm. I'm saying? I think the I think the players that came in already are in the game already. You know what I'm saying? Yo, now you might if, if, if we can do something with the logo, which is the best logo okay. in hip hop, the Onyx logo. That is we a can, fire logo. If man. we can license it and do some face. other type of things, then that's cool. But as far as like, you know, do throwing you, flowers and doing all that, like do I don't know what level of you know. Do you have licensing deals for the merchandise? Because is it like 
there's stores you can go to where they just have um, the honest yeah, shit just, like they just, have Metallica just, shirts and shit. We just did a shit. big license and I can't say nothing because it's an non-disclosure agreement. But um, we just yeah, and we do it independently as well. Like, like I see kids in 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 fucking Bulgaria with a fucking jacket. I'm like, yo, where you get that? Oh, you went to the website. I'm like, damn, it got there, huh? Okay, the shipment landed. All right. Yeah. You know, yeah, we do merch and all that. Like, we 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 always got to brand ourselves. And like I said, when we came in the game, Jam Master J said, y'all gotta have an ill logo. Uh -huh. That's a fact. That's good advice right there. Y'all gotta have an ill logo. Y'all got you know, we learned from the best. Mm. And, and it's and that the jewels that he gave us is is my family is benefiting from that. Right, hundred percent. So is the acting game still a significant part of your life? Absolutely. Yeah. Is that like a hustle you just pick up at a certain point and then you just know how to keep it going throughout your career? It's like most rappers don't seem like they ever get turned on to that you shit. But the dudes right who do, <laughs> the dudes who do seem like they're able to keep going yeah, and doing like, that shit. Like, of like. Uh, like, you know, right? That's exactly what it is. We right. came in the game. I, IMDB, baby. We came in the game, slipped in the game, never went to acting school. Mm. And you learn on a set around professional people who teach you how to be professional. Like, the first time I did a movie was called Strat. We had everybody auditioned for it. But I remember this time of Forrest Whitaker looked in my eyes. And this dude was like, you know, this is Forrest Whitaker. I didn't know who he was at the time, but I did my research and I was like, oh, this shit is real. Right. So he was interested in me playing his character in his movie. So he looked at me and said, can I trust you? Are you going to be serious about this? And I looked at him and said, yes, dead serious. <laughs> and I came on the set. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Just some kid off the street who had the energy. I had Dev Jam behind me. Uh -huh. Russell sent me to the audition. So I had that rocket, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, and you keep doing it. He got in the game. Look at him. Blade all types of shit. Blade all types of shit. He, you, you know, it's a hustle. Right. 91 movies later. Yeah. You know, it's a hustle for, for the actors that's getting Academy Awards. This is what they do. You have to have a passion for it, though. You know what I'm saying? You Are have you, to have a passion, have a passion for, for anything that you do long term. Right. Are you, but once you get into the game, is it kind of odd because you come from such more of like a real environment? And like a lot of actor people, I don't know. I just, I guess why, I just assume. Why would, it, why would it be odd? Because I just assume that actors are just coming from a completely different world that they might not necessarily what understand. What world are they coming from? The same thing. Pretending to be other people and not really doing shit. So what's like, so odd about it? I'm gonna tell you something. Mm. It's, it's like this. I mean, actors, I feel weird around. It's like they this. don't smoke enough weed. Put it like this: you could be a guy with a mansion, rich, do some fucked up shit, and then you gotta go to jail and live in a fucking four. And you know, you 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 have to adjust, right? Mm. Adapt. Right. So if you on a set and you never did, did act, they don't know your back. You you adapt tell that, to tell the that situation. Tell that to Iron Man. You adapt to the situation. There's no. This is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, yo, if you enjoyed this clip, throw it up, man. Watch the full interview on No Jumper. YouTube channel. Yeah. Throw it up, man.